hi guys welcome back to video entertainment tv if you're new in the house thank you so so much for stopping by and for my whole time subscribers thank you so so much for always supporting my channel so guys in the video that i'm about to share with you global burger will be explaining to us in a broken heart the real cause of nicola's tears that that is so sad guys for those of you who don't know Nicola Steele, she was a popular 24 years old YouTuber and a dancer who lost her life during her 8 months pregnancy together with her unborn child. So guys, I'm not going to say much, I'm not going to take much, uh, much of your time, I'm just uh, going to let you watch this video guys. Bye and bye bye. <laughs> The world is fucked up. Like the world is fucked. Like the world is fucked. I woke up this morning to hear the, like, 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 it wasn't the most saddest news because I've already heard the most saddest news, but it was something that wasn't sitting with my soul at all, you know, because I've always been asking myself, and I know everyone is also asking, what happened to Nicole? What happened to Nicole? Nothing happened. I'm not here to talk about what happened on the day and whatnot. I wish I could, but it just puts me in some different different world. So it's hard to it's hard for it to come out sometimes, you know. But um, the world is fucked up. The world is so fucked up. I can't believe it and the reason why I can't believe it is because we did so many checks like we went to the hospital so many times she had so many appointments I was there every single time you know I was there every single time and not once not one not one did we hear that there was something we needed to worry about or even come get a check up or something you know what i mean like there's just so much there's just so much, there's just so much going on in my head that that doesn't make sense because because Nicole could have lived you know like my wife could have lived and my son could have lived as well Rain could have lived they both could have lived Since she left, I've been asking myself, I've been asking God, I've been asking everybody what happened. I, 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 lived, with, I lived with her for more than a year. She 
she was the healthiest. Like she was good. Mommy was okay, you know, mommy was good. Mom. And even if she wasn't, the hospital or the, the nurses or anybody should have seen something, you know. Like if what they're saying is true, you know, because first of all, let me get this out there. When mom, when, when mommy left, yeah, there was so much news going on that she died of whatever heart attack. Who bought them? You the mad? Heart attack, what? People just they make stories. People just they make stories. Even the hospital, even the hospital, those big, big doctors, those people, it took them about three months before finding what, what the cause of my wife's death was. Are you mad? They either go to post, post, she died of heart attack. Guys, guys, the most annoying, the most annoying, and what is getting my soul angry is the fact that, fair enough, not even fair enough, that's what they are saying, that this is what caused the death. I'm not talking about the heart attack bullshit. I'm talking about the doctors after three months. That's what they are saying. Why didn't they see that from long time ago? Mommy was born in this country. Okay, let's even put that aside. I need help. I need lawyers. I need people with, with big knowledge. People that, people that, people that know what, what has been caused, like what damage has been caused you know because they didn't just take two lives but they've destroyed they've destroyed so many futures like did they know what plans she had did they know what plans i had for her did they know what plans we had did they know what plans she had for me did they know what plans she had for the world did they know what plans she had for her family do you know what plans we had for rain? They have crushed everything. Not even talk about my life, what damage they've done to me. Okay. This is what this is what disturbs my soul. When we caught the ambulance. Why did it take so long? Okay. Why did it take so long? Let's put that aside. Why are they now coming to say that they mistakenly called the wrong unit? Are you guys deep in it? They, mis they called the wrong unit. They probably called some junkie unit for, for, for my pregnant wife. They probably called a headache unit for my pregnant wife. Who we described and, and they, they knew what the condition was. They like, they have record, they have, they have everything. When you call them, they say everything's been recorded. They have everything of the conversation, of, of what, of, of how, of whatever. So how is then, how? Move bottom, move bottom. I'll be four, but I'm about clad. I 
I don't even know, I don't even know where I'm at. Where I'm at, safe. But yeah, how how is that possible? How is that possible? That's why I said I need I need lawyers. I need people who. I know my, my wife's mom is not is, is not sleeping on this. She never will. And I will never, my soul will not rest. Because this is more than damage. This is more than damage. Eh. The kind of damage they have caused. Yeah. It's not something that money can replace. Like they fucked up my everything. Like I didn't come here to moan and to cry out but Something inside me just keeps telling me, let people be aware of this, you know. I'm not this person. I'm, I'm not a YouTuber, you know. Everything I did, every single thing I did on this channel was for my wife's happiness. Like, I've always been UK bugger, global bugger. Okay, I wasn't global till I met my wife, but I've always been UK bugger. There's always been YouTube. I could have created YouTube, but I'm not this person. But I just need to let pregnant women and responsible people, responsible husbands and responsible boyfriends to be aware, to, 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 look, to look sharp, you the bab, because I will love you forever, baby. Medo will be asking me now. Medo will be asking me now. Yeah. Like, because of these people, it's music that I have to use to remember my wife. And I have to go so deep into my heart. Like, when I close my eyes, So I can't even sleep. Ask my friends. Ask, ask, ask people around me, fam. I've always been someone not who doesn't like sleep, but ever since, when I close my eyes, I see pain. Like ever since. And I don't know. Like you guys imagine. Deep deep this in your head. Imagine. On the eleventh of July, my wife left me. And I knew how healthy she was. Like the whole time. I knew how healthy she was. Imagine just deep what's gonna be going through my head. Just deep what's gonna be going through my head. On what happened? Just deep it. What's been going through my head? Do you think I can sleep? And I didn't even, I didn't even come out to say, like, what happened on that day? How the day went? I didn't even come out to say that. That is all that flashes in my head. And today I come in here that it was a silly mistake from like some hospital and nurses or, or whoever. It's crazy shit. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy shit. So something in me just. I know it's my wife just telling me to let her pregnant folks and people that 
are pregnant, you know, just tell, let's let them know that you need to be aware, you know, you need to be more aware. When you go one check, go double checks. Tell them to, to be sure. You know. And um, I know this this caused a lot of like shookness in people, pregnant people, and people that are, but that I wanted to have babies. You know, like a lot of people. Guys, look at how happy Nicole was. Look how happy my wife was from the first day she told <laughs> From the first day she posted my wife that had a heart attack. No people that was so quick. Munya might be trusted. Like no cap. Because if you don't know what happened, at least find out before you let news go out, you know. Hey, one love.